Remember that? Let's continue on. Shape and color play an important part in highway signs. It's practically impossible to read every sign, but you can use their colors and shapes to pick out those that are most important to you. Even if you can't read them from a distance, the shape and color give you some idea of their meaning. For example, both the shape and color of this sign tell you to stop. As a rule, the color red indicates stop or conveys a significant prohibition. Black and white signs are regulatory and state the law. They mark where the regulation goes into effect. For example, accelerating when you first see this regulatory sign violates the law. Wait until you pass the sign to accelerate. Violating any regulatory or prohibition sign can get you into serious trouble. Yellow signs provide warnings. They alert you to curves, crossings, speed limit changes, slippery roads, and other conditions where a little warning goes a long way. Yellow warning signs might also appear before prohibition or regulatory signs to warn you of a change in the law or the need to take action. Look for yellow triangles or diamonds to anticipate what's ahead. An orange sign tells you you're in a construction zone. A symbol usually found on signs of another color or shape can sometimes show up on an orange sign. This conveys the same information, but with the additional warning to be extra cautious in the construction zone. Alert. Indicate a construction zone. Look for black and white regulatory signs to state the law, but consider the orange signs a warning to be extra alert. Begin to slow down to the reduced speed limit before you enter the zone. Follow the directions of lane change arrows, shoulder work ahead signs, changeable message signs, and be alert for shoulder drop-offs and bump signs. There's more than one good reason to slow down in construction zones. Perhaps the most important reason to slow down is each year dozens of highway construction and maintenance workers die as a result of traffic collisions in construction zones. When the signs say slow down, slow down and watch out for construction workers and vehicles near the roadway. Be cautious and obey posted signs. Conditions change rapidly in construction zones. Just in the construction zone. Green signs tell you the distance or direction to cities, alternate routes, or other destination information. In the U.S., distances are shown in miles. In Canada and Mexico, on the other hand, distances and speed limits are measured in kilometers. If you're not familiar with metric conversion, one hundred miles equals one hundred sixty kilometers, and fifty five miles per hour is approximately equal to ninety kilometers per hour. Blue signs provide service-related information, such as where to find food, lodging, and gas. And brown signs tell you of a recreational facility, such as a park, campground, fishing site, or boat launch. As we mentioned before, orange signs indicate a construction zone. Now let's look at some other regulatory and warning signs that convey special meanings or are frequently misunderstood. Let's start with curves. Slowing down to the advisory speed before entering the curve ensures that you'll navigate the curve safely and smoothly. Mm -hmm. A 90 degree arrow means the upcoming turn is sharp. The safe speed through the turn is 30 miles per hour or less. A curved arrow indicates a more shallow turn. However, you still may need to reduce your speed depending on weather conditions. Chevron alignment signs guide you through curves where the curve may be obscure. Follow the series of these to stay on the road. Several regulatory signs deserve special attention. Yield signs at entrance or exit ramps tell you to adjust your speed and look for a safe merging opportunity. Traffic on the highway and exiting vehicles have the right of way. Unless absolutely necessary, avoid stopping on the ramp. Restricted access lanes are marked with black and white regulatory signs containing a white diamond. 
There's usually a white diamond painted on the roadway as well. I'm going to show you the signs in this. So I'm going to play it now. This sign indicates a restricted lane for specially designated vehicles. Do not enter a restricted access lane unless you qualify to be there. If you need to make a turn across such a lane in city traffic, enter at the last possible moment, a half block or less from the turn. HOV stands for High Occupancy Vehicles. Only vehicles with a required number of occupants may travel in HOV lanes. Signs will indicate the minimum number of occupants, as well as the times when the restriction is in effect. HOV lanes may also have a diamond painted on the roadway. Shared turning lanes, or two-way turning lanes, allow you to make left turns from either direction without holding up traffic behind you. Enter these lanes as close to your intended turn as possible. Never use a shared turning lane as a through lane. And pay particular attention to signs and signals for reversible lanes. They tell you the correct direction of traffic and the time of day the direction changes. However, stay alert. Don't assume that the opposing drivers are paying attention. Now let's look at some unique situations that require special signs. For example, tunnels usually have specific traffic control signs such as minimum and maximum speeds, prohibited cargo, and the appropriate use of headlights and sunglasses. The signs you see when approaching a toll plaza tell you how far away the plaza is, what the safe approach speed is, which lanes are for cars and which are for trucks, and other useful information. Finally, many railroad grade crossings have signs and traffic control devices that warn of an approaching train. If a railroad crossing does not have flashing lights and barricades, slow down and check for a train before crossing the tracks. Remember, it's difficult to accurately judge the speed of an oncoming train, and trains cannot slow down for you. For your own safety and the safety of others, it's important that you observe, understand, and follow all cautionary and restrictive signs when approaching a tunnel, toll plaza, or railroad grade crossing. These situations are well marked because there is very little room for error. Next, we are going to look at non-vehicular signs. Most of these signs refer to pedestrians and bicyclists. Walk, don't walk signals tell pedestrians when it's permissible to cross. If you're turning into their path, you must yield the right of way to them in this situation. Stop before the vehicle stop line or crosswalk painted on the roadway. Be prepared to stop for any pedestrian who enters a crosswalk and learn to expect and to stop for pedestrians not in crosswalks. Your caution could save a life. A warning sign is often placed ahead of the crosswalk so you have adequate warning of the crossing zone. Another warning sign is placed at the crosswalk itself. The lines on the sign indicate the close location of the crosswalk markings. Whether you are in a residential neighborhood or at a busy intersection, be alert for inattentive pedestrians, especially children who are less predictable. In school zones, signs tell you when to reduce your speed and when it's safe to increase it again. Wait until you pass the end school zone or speed limit sign before resuming your speed. Finally, animal crossing signs tell you to slow down and look out. Animals behave unpredictably. For example, deer freeze when they see headlights, so be extra cautious when you see an animal crossing sign, especially at dawn or dusk when wild animals are more likely to be present. When driving, be sure to use both the sign's shape and color to obtain important traffic safety information.